Today, I'm going to be talking about the 2024 film, The Deliverance, directed by a filmmaker that I'm not a big fan of, Lee Daniels. So ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Right off the bat, I hate the main character, Ebony. She's a raging, abusive, alcoholic bitch, and I would give her the Razzie for worst mother in the world. She gets a very strong nomination from me. This is a possession film, and we do have typical possession motifs, if you will. Rotten smell in the basement, check mark. Creepy possessed kid that talks to himself, check mark. And a kid that climbs all over the walls in terrible CGI fashion, check mark. When we get to the middle of the film, Ebony says that the house is making the family sick altogether, and that she's starting to hear creepy voices. There's a sketchy evangelist played by Anjane Ellis, who I feel was a bit miscast here, and she's following the family throughout the film. Eventually, Ebony sits down with her at a McDonald's, and the evangelist is going over the previous history of the house and how there was a family that ended up going crazy because of the house and they ended up killing each other, or the father killed off the family and then killed himself. For some reason, Ebony gets really upset and storms off after the evangelist is telling her the backstory. But you just said that the house was making you feel crazy, you were hearing voices, and the family was getting sick. Everybody, so why were you so upset of her telling you the backstory? This was executed terribly. And I forgot to mention a couple nights before, your son tried to drown your other son in a bathtub. And there was a force that pushed you away from the sun. But but she's crazy, you storm off. It really bothered me. There's a scene in a hospital where Monique's social worker character comes to visit the son who's possessed and he's strapped to a bed. Now her character is very skeptical. She chalks it up to the mother Ebony being an alcoholic and her going back to her ways. I was already laughing at a chunk of this film with what I consider to be mistakes. Here is when I wanted to throw the movie completely in the trash. The only performances that I truly enjoyed were Monique playing the social worker and Glenn Close for the most part of her screen time. Now Glenn Close is playing easily the craziest role of her career. She's playing the Grandma Alberta, she's wearing a southern accent in this film, and she has the mannerisms and talks like a black grandma. I didn't really like Andre Day as Ebony and her acting overall. There were some moments that I thought were almost decent like the scenes where her character is possessed or there's a demon that's mimicking her to get to her head near the finale. There's some of that that I thought almost worked, maybe with the better writer, but the overall direction from Lee Daniels, in my opinion, is laughable, awful, horrendous, and a gut-busting terrible. The way that he's writing dialogue here in this film is very cringeworthy. For example, the main example Glenn Close's infamous line near the finale of the film. Cue the clip. I can smell your nappy pussy. And once again, Lee Daniels has managed to piss me off once again. Shortly after this movie comes out, Lee Daniels goes on Twitter, or X, and he talks about Glenn Close's character, Alberta, being the fabric of our community. You mean the character that had her daughter molested by another man, which I felt was very unnecessary to add to the film. It felt like an afterthought. If you wanted us to like or sympathize with Alberta just a tad bit more, all sympathy goes out the window if she's done something so horrible. Throughout the film, Alberta's getting dogpiled and brutally snapped at by her daughter, Ebony, and for the most part, I'm thinking, hey, ease up on your mother. Like, she's not perfect, but she is trying to do her best. But by the ending, I can completely understand why Ebony is pissed off. If Lee Daniels is attempting to shine a positive light on Alberta's character by calling her a fabric of our community, then maybe change the character motive or the backstory of the neglect that she gave to her daughter. It could have easily been, I'm sorry I was a heavy drinker, I missed birthday parties, I missed Christmases, etc. But with the reveal of the neglect near the finale, I hated that we had to go to black trauma and rape as the backstory. It is a serious subject, of course, but the way that it's handled in the film is very heavy-handed, 
and it does feel like an afterthought to me again at the same time. Especially with how over the place this movie is. Lee Daniels is trying to make a goofy possession film. He's trying to make a serious traumatic film. A, a family dysfunctional film. Like he usually does, but this time it's possession. I'm going off on a tangent, but this film pissed me off with how horribly executed everything was. Minus Monique's performance and a chunk of Glenn Close's screen time. This was a terrible experience for me due to the very laughable dialogue and the horrible attempts at scaring you when they pop up. The rest of the film does drag on its feet for a majority of its time, so I'm going to give The Deliverance a 2 out of 10. If I were the real people that were inspired by this film, I would be pretty pissed off because I think the representation was grotesque in my opinion, and not in a good way. At the end of the day, it is a fucking movie, so I don't want to sound too emotional. It just pissed me off quite a bit. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy Fro. Did you like this movie more than I did? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. In the meantime, between time, I'm on to the next review. Thank you for watching. Fro. Thank you.